Oh, hold on, hold on. What's up, boys? Welcome to episode three of the Wild Podcast. You know, glad to have you guys here, whoever's tuning in. Start off simple. How's your day going so far, Tristan? Bro, it's going good. How the fuck are you today? It's a day off for me. Day off for you, too. Yes, sir. Day off. You know, I get to bowl today. I love bowling. But fuck, dude. He's in the league, son? Yes, sir, bro. He's and in the I, fucking like, league? His I game have is a strong. huge collection of bowling balls for no reason, bro. It's like, I'm, I got like 40 balls undrilled, you know? But I just like to collect them. I like to have them all. Like How them many balls touching. do you logistically have? Bowling balls, pause. <laughs> 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 Fucking, well, bo- ah, fuck, dude. Uh, I got roughly more than 10, less than 20. Shit. All right. What are three things that you're like... Super big on collecting and having. Like, what are your oh vices? Gosh, dude. <laughs> what are they? Oh my god, dude! Literally, my main co- like the main. Give me, thing, get, instead of three, let's do top five. Top let's, five things I collect. Top five things that you collect, like your vices <laughs> that you're spending your cash on. Yeah, this might be disappointing here, but Funko Pops, dude. I'm a big fucking collector, and I'm 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 not a weeb, right? I'm not, I don't do the whole dress, but I, I love me some anime, right? And there's just so many Funko Pops for every anime that I watch, bro. Like, oh, let me look at my collection right now. And these aren't, keep in mind, this is Do you have an like, app for this? Yeah. <laughs> is that how you're keeping track of that shit? Like, you can't put all of them in there, right? I didn't fucking know that. I didn't but, know that they had that. So, I have 130. That's just that I can keep track of. 130 so, Funko Pops. Yeah, that I can keep track of right now, bro. Dude, I love Holy my collection, bro. Like, shit. They're still like mostly in boxes. I can't even display them. Like, correctly. I've seen your bedroom and like how many you have, but I didn't know it was that many. I thought it was like fifty. No, 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 dude. And that's still like I got some of my grandma's at home, and there's still shit. a lot in boxes, dude. But the total value of like those 130 is uh two thousand two hundred eighty dollars. So keep in mind that's so fucking crazy. How much I've spent. <laughs> That's so fucking crazy. Like, that's actually insane. Like, that's awesome, but it's insane that that's how much that is. Now, did you profit off of your collection? Oh, no, dude. I don't collect the sell. Um, but, like, so you spent 2200 How much is your collection worth? That's not. That's how much it's worth. Oh, it's worth 2200 Yeah. And you have 50 50 what? Pops? No, I got yeah. 130 like on here. Like oh it God. says, yeah, that's right. And they're all like roughly, like eleven dollars, but they had like a price increase, so now they're twelve. But I got most of them for eleven. And like, there's exclusives that come out, which are like the more valuable pieces. So you pay like anywhere upwards of like twenty dollars, bro, for some plastic. I can't help it, bro. It's just like lit. What flinging that fucking mic around, or the <laughs> <laughs> or the goddamn Funko Pops? The Funko Pops, man. You'll hop on that wave, don't you? Like you said, you wanted to get some Batman shit spray. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was really thinking about it. I saw Master Chief mug the other day at Walmart, and I was like, "This is." I was in there with my mother. She was like, "Do you want it?" I was like, "Fuck no! I look like a nerd." No, nah, bro. See, you gotta have. You gotta have those things, man. That adds to your character. You can't have a girl come over and be like, oh, look at this room. It's so plain, bro. Like, your room is fucking plain. Your room's plain as fuck, dude. Dude, it's wavy. I'm about to... I was at Hobby Lobby the other day. I was there with some friends. It was me, Jenny, Sadie, and Taylor. And I was like, man, I really want to get this painting. And it was like 100 bucks. I was looking at four or five paintings that were like anywhere from 30 to a hundred dollars plus and i love art like i really Mm. love art that's something that i that i have a vice for and it's something that i want to expand on but right now i'm in the process of flipping that cash like we had talked about earlier like that was one of my goals to flip a certain amount of money that i have double it at least yeah so me buying art right now is not a smart move that's why you make it he's making art every day i make art every day New music as much as possible. Say that for later. Continue about your art. What's here? Well, I don't have any here right now, and that's the thing. Like, I want to, I want to get some and put it everywhere. Like, put it here, put it in my room, and that's definitely one of my vices. I'd say that's probably like 
four or five on the list for me. Definitely my fifth one. What's your second <clears throat> vice? First was Funko Pops. Second was what? Uh, before I say that, just I want you guys to picture a bedroom, but just a bed in a room, and that's Tristan's room. I had that- pictures in there. I had pictures in there. <laughs> I had <laughs> number to take two. Them out. Number two, we got Hot Wheels, bro. I actually have like a case in there. Yeah, I seen your of case. Hot Wheels. That it's probably worth a little bit of cash. Out of the box, but yeah, yeah, I keep all my stuff in boxes. But yeah, number two is Hot Wheels. That's probably my most like. Well, actually, that's not my most like my second most amount of money spent. It's just my second biggest. Uh huh. I'd say. I don't even say biggest. I got more Hot Wheels than Funko Pops just because Hot Wheels are a dollar, you know. And there's a few that are like six dollars. So Funko Pops is one. Hot Wheels is two. What's number three? Number th- J's, bro. J's is three. What's four? Uh, four. Hmm. I don't even know, like, some other, like, I know, like, bowling balls, like, I have that in there, I guess. And I wouldn't even know what to say for the last one. I don't really. Cl- I got Games. Hoodies, actually. Hoodies, bro. Hoodies? My hoodie, like, my closet is just only hoodies. So I guess I'd be collecting hoodies and shit. This motherfucker's out here in 85 degree weather in June just rocking a hoodie. <laughs> Bro. That's what I pictured when you said when my closet is all hoodies. No, it literally is. <laughs> the only time I don't wear hoodies realistically is from the months of January, February, March, April, May. I'm just I'm trying to think of like the fucking months right now. June to He's counting look out. <laughs> June to literally June to July is like not hoodie weather. Like that's the only time. August is hot as fuck. What are August you talking about? August is not about? hot as fuck. Bro. Yes, it is. August is so fucking hot, bro. You're clapped out, bro. You, you don't. Fuck <laughs> I'm around, clapped so. out. <laughs> you tell me if August is the hottest fucking month in the comments, and tell me, tell me it's not, please. Fuck. August is that transition month, bro. That's September, cause they're the fucking same thing. <laughs> what? Bro, literally. <laughs> wait, wait, what? When's Labor Day? What month's Labor Day? September. All right, fuck. Because I always be thinking that shit's in August. <laughs> Not because, like, school be starting literally, and uh, that's when, like, football starts. So, like, you associate all that shit with, like, fall. So, like, that's why I'd be, like, August. I Honestly, August and September, like, I couldn't even tell you what numbers they are. Actually, September's nine. But, like, I know that because my mom's birthday and your birthday and yes. your mom's birthday. Our moms were born on the same day. Other crazy fact. Yeah, but my mom's much older. Yes. Not much older. Okay, slightly older, yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, so, what the fuck is your shit that you collect, bro? Because you didn't even fucking Well, I was letting shit. you finish. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. What the fuck you be on? My number one spender. Um, I think the thing that I've spent the most money on probably would be like... Your flashlight collection or no? Fuck, they ain't supposed to know about that. Dude, you only got like <laughs> seven or eight. So it's like, no, no, no. Um, num- number one, I would probably say the thing that I spent the most money on over my lifetime would be shoes, like Jays. Number two would be like jewelry, watches, and things like that. Fuck. I've got two higher end watches. I've got necklaces and stuff. Number three, I'd probably say like. I don't know if you would count this like music stuff. Just like music, like like fucking like vinyl equipment. records and shit. Like equipment. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think you have a like a surplus amount of I'd say as a, as a collection. What for? Yeah, I'm not even saying collection. Yeah, let me take that back. So, Jay's number one, watches and jewelry number two, number three. Damn. I don't even know. I, I would probably say like books. I have a good bit of books. Mm. I spent a good bit of money on that. Four. I buy some fucking candles, bro. I buy a <laughs> lot of candles, yo. I love candles. You'll see him in uh, Bath and Body Works every fucking day. Five. This doesn't like not a collectible, but like I like to eat out. Pause. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Shit, yeah, definitely. I like to go out to eat a lot. Pause. But, oh, all right. Top food chains. 
Top three. All right, bro. If Chick Fil A, top three. Listen, top if three. Chick Fil A is in your shit, bro. That's fucking dumb, bro. Chick Fil A is so overrated. Don't get me fucking wrong. I agree with you. All right. Number one, Chick Fil A. Number two, KFC. Three, Popeyes. That's literally a straight cat, bro. If I love said, McDonald's. You just bro. said. <laughs> you just said if Chick Fil A is in your shit. That's so fucking overrated. And then you're like, number one, Chick-fil-A. Literally, no, nah, okay. The realistic top three. Like, it could be like, just like my top three in general, like how often I go food there. Food chains. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like fast food. It can be like Olive Garden, Red Lobster, whatever. Okay. But chains. All right. McDonald's, number one. I fucking love McDonald's, bro. Okay. I love that pink slime and everything, bro. This shit's fucking good. Hey. Keep going. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Have you ever had fucking White Castle or no? I've never had White Castle. That's in Ohio, right? It's everywhere but here, I'd say. Okay. But, yeah, they're number one sliders. Um, Number three. Bro, I, I do. I, I fuck with Applebee's, like, heavy. But, like, I was just trying to stick to, like, fast food. Just for like, just so it's like all like you can fucking tie that shit together, because like realistically, Applebee's compared to McDonald's is like, you know, you can't really compare a fast food to a place to a restaurant. But your go to is McDonald's, like definitely number one. No, I'm cha- okay. But number three, dude, uh, Wendy's, I guess. Wendy's, Wendy's, Wendy's is up there. I'll I'll say like I don't eat fast food a lot, so mm. I'm just gonna go with chains oh, that I like so and am at. F- What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> you hating on me because I watch my fucking diet? Uh, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> top three chains. I'm going to say number one for me. Oh, damn, bro. You know, like, I don't eat it often. But, like, the place that I rock with the most is Popeye's. Popeye's for me is number one. But I'm not there often. I'm there like maybe once or twice a year. Yeah, it sucks. It's, it's, our it, location has nothing, boys. Yeah, like, literally. It's it's mainly when I'm on vacation. Um, number two, places that I'm at frequently, I'm probably gonna say. Hmm, you know what? Hibachi is number two. Okay. I, I really rock with hibachi, and then three. I'm gonna have to say Applebee's, because we're there a lot. Yeah. But if I'm interchanging, like a sit-down restaurant for Popeyes, mm-hmm. I've got to go with Applebee's for number one. Yeah, it's it's super convenient. Like their shit smacks. Like I always used to get Cedar Grill lemon chicken, but it's off the menu now. But that's like they got a lot of smackers there. Like spinach artichoke dip. Like they start you off right, bro. Start you off right. The fucking uh pause. What? <laughs> Pause. I take that back. Oh shit. Texas Roadhouse number one. Oh my god. Applebee's number two. Hibachi Texas number three. Fucking Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse is delicious. Do not hate. Do the not fuck hate. Are you gonna flower blossom fucking onion ring bitch. Dude. No. No. The fuck they got go that app for? sampler there, bro. They got the rattlesnake bites, the boneless wings. You know, to be fair, like I've been there one time. Twice. Three times. Under five. I've been there under five times, so over five, less than ten. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> under five. I've been there. No, you've been there with me a couple times. That's what I mean, but less than five. The fucking like, mixed mayonnaise, mustard, ranch, and something else. Drank it. Of course, I'll do anything to put on a show. Yeah, oh, fuck. Oh my gosh! Be, like, remember I took a, a a shot of ranch. Yeah, girl, I'm but I fuck up. with ranch, so I'm not hating on that. I don't know if I do that, but I I rock with ranch. That's something I've cut out of my diet almost completely. I've replaced it with avocado, and that has been a challenge for me because my my whole life I've ate ranch with my steak. The fuck, dude! I've ranch replaced, with your steak. I've replaced it with a one. I've moved on to the big boy things. Bro, but see, if you don't. I I don't. don't we like always end use- up on fucking steak. <laughs> How do we fucking always end up on steak? Continue. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, look, look. If you guys, like, you shouldn't use condiments on, on most of your food. Like, there's some foods, like, you shouldn't, like, steak, for instance. Like, you shouldn't use A1 sauce on steak. Okay. We're going to rewind 
I might even cut that out of there. That's fucking disrespect. <laughs> you know how many white people are going to be angry right now? No, like, listen, bro. Like, if it's good, right, why are you wasting the flavor with A1 sauce, bro? For for $2 A1 sauce, you're going to destroy a $500 steak. That's an exaggeration, but you get what I mean. Where the fuck are you going that you're paying, a, like, you're spending half a paycheck? They put fucking gold flakes on my steak, bro. Yeah, nice ribeye. Christ. Anyways. Any fucking ways. Jesus. Yeah, definitely, definitely text Red House number one. Two, I said Applebee's, three, Hibachi. Fuck, I want to go to Dave and Buster's. I've never been to Dave and Buster's. Adult Chuck E. Cheese? Never been. So you've never been to Chuck E. Cheese either? No, I've been to Chuck E. Cheese like maybe once or twice. I, we had a place called the Max in Uniontown when I was growing up. I would go there all the time. So, Jump around the ball pit. Fucking elbow drop kids in there. Damn. I pushed a girl off like the top like part of it. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know why. <laughs> I was just a wee lad at this time. So like, you pushed what her off. What the fuck? You did what? You fucking shoved it. From where? It was like on top. It was just off of a swing set, like like height, like so. However high, high that is, three feet, <laughs> definitely higher than three. Are you saying like from the top of the swing set? Yeah. Oh fuck. I don't know why. That just made me think of that because you know it's like plague, plague thing. You know what the fuck. We should go to Dave and Buster's. Definitely Dave and Buster's. I'm down for Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Never been there. Got to get a live, too, soon. What, the casino? Yeah. I went there. Was it nice? Uh, It was nice, but... Did you win any money? Did you make... I was you... up about 200. And? 250, something like that. You didn't know when to leave? No, I, I decided to keep going, and that's Fuck, where dude, I Fuck, dude, no on. one knows when to leave. Boys, when you're no. up, you leave. I was up 250, and then the dealer whipped his dick out and laid it on the table, and then said, <laughs> get the fuck out. But... No and one knows when to leave. When you're up, you're just just accept that bread you got. Quit going back in. Fuck. They had side bets too, and if I would have put, see now you're talking. No, no. If listen. I would have, now you're gonna go back. No, waste listen, more money. Listen, shut up. Let me tell you this <laughs> fucking story. They have side bets. I was playing blackjack, and mm-hmm. it was twenty five dollars a hand, and that's crazy. It Let's is. start there. So. It was twenty five dollars a hand. They had side bets, and it was like a one in a thousand chance or some some astronomical odds of this thing happening. I think it was like three threes in a row or something like that or three threes on the river, whatever the fuck it was. And there were three threes. If I would have put $5 down, I would have gotten like three or five K or something like that. Literally, I would have, no joke. If I would have put $5 on it, just happened. But anyways... Um, yeah, I was up, I was going, I, I went in with like 75 bucks and then I was at like almost 300 or something mm-hmm. like that, or a little over 300, 325. And it's just like, I, I lost two hands. So I was at a net of like 200 and then I was like, okay, I'm going to walk away. And I really only remember how to play blackjack because I haven't played Texas Hold'em in a long time. Yeah, got to get some people for that. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to go sit down at Texas Hold'em and lose money. So I went back to the blackjack table because I don't like slots. I think they're boring as fuck. And at that point, I was still up 200. I had lost like 100. I had got back up to 200 again. And then I had dipped back down to like neutral. And I was like, okay, I'm done. And I had also paid to, you know, get some food, have a drink or two. Mm. And by the by the time the night was over, I lost sixty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that was like drinks yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, fuck it, it was a good time yeah. with some friends. Did you eat at the Guy Fieri's restaurant or no? I think is that the only one in there? Uh, I've never been in there, so I couldn't fucking tell you. Yeah, I think I ate upstairs. It was decent. Um it was decent. I, I wasn't super impressed. Yeah. You know? I don't want to get to the point where... Because, like, I know as soon as I start going, I'm going to just stay. Because, like, I love to gamble. You know? I think that 
there's nothing wrong with it every once in a while. But we've talked about like our addictive personalities. When I start to feel a pull to want to do something, like, oh, have a drink, oh, go to the casino, play another hand, that's when I got to be like, okay, I got I to gotta pull back. I know it's time to stop. <laughs> like, when I, ca- I talked about the benders, like that third or fourth day of me having a couple of drinks a night, yeah. I start to feel that pull and I'm like, mm, it's time to stop. Yeah, when you feel that pull, just know it's time to stop. I, I, sometimes I just keep going, bro. You just, I mean, I'm only losing money. I'll get that shit back eventually, you know. Until it's your mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> and you, listen, I, whenever I was checking out though, and I was getting like cashing out, I forget what they're called. That's like a little receipt that has your money on it. A How voucher? much? You're, yeah, a voucher. Idiot. Whatever. <laughs> I saw a guy walk out of there with like thirty racks. Jeez. I'm not even no, joking. Bro, that's he had, crazy, he had bro. bags of money. Damn. Damn. Not even joking. Like 30 racks on him. And I was like, that's so fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you know who David Dobrik, D- David Dobrik is. Yeah, that name rings a bell. Like, he'll go into the casino and drop 10 on a color on the roulette wheel. It's like crazy. Like, the fact that people can just drop 10K and... You know, take that 50-50 odds, bro. Like, that's insane. Like, I don't want to get to that point. Like, I doubt I would ever do that. Like, Is I, he successful? Oh, it. dude. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, he never posts, like, what he loses, I feel like. Like, you only see him winning because that shit's content. You know? You've that, watched David Dobrik's videos, his vlogs. Yeah, I think I have. <clears throat> I've I was watching something the other day about Dana White who is, like, the current president of the UFC. And he built that company up. Mm. Like, he took it from, like, I forget exactly what the figure was, but, like, a multi-million dollar company to... He sold it for, like, four and a half billion or five billion dollars, and he's still the president and gets paid there. He went to a casino in Vegas for 26 nights in a row. <laughs> Jeez. And listen... What the fuck? He was playing blackjack. He got their ass for, like, I think... 1.6 million to him. He got him for $2 Holy million dollars over, over so many days. It was, tw- I know it was 26 days, but they gave him a belt and they were like, it was like a winning belt of like, congratulations. <laughs> like they you beat us. Fucking WWE but then they, championship no, belt. literally. And then they asked him, they were like, you can't come back here. Like stop coming here. Oh my gosh, dude. But 1.6 bro. Imagine like 1. that's an insane million. amount of money. Like people have that shit and throw that shit away. It's like, if I had that 1.6 still living here, that shit would last for generations, bro. Literally. You could, logistically, like, we, we've we done the metrics. Like, we were talking about metrics earlier. If you have, let's say, let's round it up. Let's say it's $2 million. Mm-hmm. If you have $2 million, <laughs> that means you could live off 50000 for the next, what? How many years? <laughs> Fucking asking me, dude. What the fuck? Uh, I know, I know, fifty thousand for two hundred years. I'd say. I, I think. Fucking, I think it's. Uh, I don't fucking. I'll get it calculated. Uh, is it, so fifty thousand for the next forty years. I think. Yeah, fifty thousand for the next forty years. You could live off of two million. I'm fucking brain dead. And you know, at that point, we'd be sixty-two. Yeah. But nonetheless, this guy fucking wiped the floor with them. One point six million. And it might even be more than that. I could be skewing the number, but over 26 days. That's crazy. That's yeah. fucking insane. Like, But he's really good, man. He's really good. He's had a lot of practice. Yeah, but so I check. You don't need $50,000 a year to live. Like, if you live bare minimum, like, you only need, like, 10K. I disagree, enough. but that's okay. How much do you spend a month? Me? Yeah. You have to factor in, bro. I'm not buying groceries. Yeah, I'm going to say, like... I'm not paying for insurance. I don't have a mortgage. I'm not paying taxes. Like, all that shit If you're paying all that shit, right? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So, your family lives in the same house for generations, right? So, house is already paid for. So, you still have to pay your bills or whatever. But you don't need cable and, like, half the shit, you know? You don't need heat. You don't need fucking water. Like, you don't have to pay for that shit. So then, all you need is internet, 
So then you got that. It's like $30 a month or something. And then you pay for your groceries. That's probably like, you probably spend like 200 a month on groceries. Way more than that. $400 a month. Way under. more than that. Less than $500 a month on groceries. No. You spend more. F- All right. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. $1,000 on groceries a month. I'm going to say 1000 to 1200 All right. So. Minimum. So you're surviving with un- uh, under 20 k dollars a year it's probably the cost of living <laughs> for like minimum i'm gonna say i'm including like all amenities too like right now if i were to guess how much it would cost just me mm. to live with everything that i currently have right now i'm guessing twenty five thousand dollars to thirty thousand that's, that's fair yeah i'd say around there's all you need like to survive for a year okay so let's put that into a frame of reference though 50k a year right yeah 50k a year you spend let's say 30 Mm -hmm. you're down to 20 that's net how much are you saving all of it jokes i'm buying a truck or something bro i like see what i mean 50 50k is not a lot of money it seems like a lot of money but it's not oh i mean if if I was in this like like place where like I like knew I had to save, I'd be able to save maybe. But well, don't fucking smile at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I I can somewhat manage my money. Okay. Uh huh. That's fuck. I can't even say that because I literally just talked about spending spending twenty two hundred dollars <laughs> on Funko Pops. Yeah, but that's because I can. You know. Yes. There's no hate there. Like I'm I'm not I'm not. We talked about money management a little bit the last time we had one of these. Like, you got to be good with your dough. For sure. Because I think that's something people don't discuss often. Like, finan- obviously, everybody knows this. Financial literacy, it's not discussed. Does You don't know how to pay taxes. Yeah. You don't. I see so many people go into situations where they spend fucking ridiculous amounts of money for no reason. Yeah. And a lot of people, like can't do stuff on their own or like unwilling to try so they'll they'll pay people to do it like simple things that they can easily do if they just put a little effort in like they'd rather spend 30 to do it themselves so that they'd rather spend 60 for someone else to do it like i hate that shit i think you got to get it how you live like what are your goals in life is it like our goal is to build a brand it's to build a company Mm -hmm. to monetize creativity and to, to be real, like, do I want to go buy Jordans and Air Forces and all these things? Like, do I want to get a new watch? Would I like to buy myself this or do that? The answer is yes, but I'm budgeting myself. I'm not going to do that because I know that the end goal is much greater than, than those things that only yeah. bring me momentary happiness and... Like, you're paying for the logo, right? Exactly. And the other reason, it's people hype it up too much. Like, you see someone wearing J's, it's like, oh, shit, look at those J's, you know? Mm-hmm. We see something else, we're like, oh, we don't even look. That's the reason, like, shit, everyone just thinks they need it. Because they want that one moment of, like, oh, damn, he was looking at my kicks, bro. He was looking fresh, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I don't... And that shit's just so valuable to someone that they that they want that shit. Like, you got like Ray-Ban approval. sunglasses on. Or glasses, Why? I like the frames. <laughs> like But that's the thing, like I'm I'm not chasing that. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if I get something it's because I like it or I want it. Like I don't need the approval. I I'm just saying for like the broad majority, like Yeah, the broad majority of people are like, <clears throat> like I'm I'm buying just, this. I buy J's cuz I I fuck with them. Yeah. You know, they got they're just fucking swag. <laughs> yeah, like I rock Chucks so the same way that I'd rock a pair of Air Forces or Jordans. Yeah, like I Period. I like and ones, bro. Like they're clean. And Shaq has this shit at Walmart too. Shaq's fire. There's, you know, it's just like people like think, oh, you got M ones, bro. Fuck, and ones are literally made the same way Jordans are. Fucking go rock a pair of and ones. They're fine. I I see so many people that like drop stacks on Yeezys, right? Yeah. Like they'll drop a stack on Yeezys, but if you go on like DH Gate. <laughs> And you can you can listen. buy those motherfuckers for sixty bucks. They're made in the same factory, but a lot of people are uncool with doing that 
because they're going to get the, the shit from their friends. Like, oh, do you, do you really drop three stacks on those? That's what I'm you shouldn't even have to buy, like, rip, rip off Yeezys. Like, you shouldn't even buy them in the first place. Like, there's no reason you should spend all, like, your, like, hard-earned dough on some, on some Yeezys. Like, for what? For what? That gets you nowhere, for, honestly. It gets you in a hole. I mean, unless you're reselling to get someone to take advantage of, like, these people that, you know, think they need Yeezys. I, like, we can't tell people how to spend their money. I get it. Like, I'm, I'm just, you I, know, I understand just what you're saying. Some, like, you I understand know. what you're saying. I'm just like, when it comes down to people and their cash, mm. and this goes back to what we were talking about, like, how much do you spend a year? Logistically, how much could you spend? People think that just because you buy this thing, you're going to be happy. It's not fucking true. Well, you can't say money doesn't buy happiness because that's also not true. Money does buy happiness. I, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take a different route on this. Uh, let gonna... me, let me just tell you what, what Jermaine Lamar Cole said. Uh, money doesn't buy you ha- happiness. That's true as hell. But, Money, uh, fuck, uh, what is he, I, I, hold on, I'm gonna look it up so I can say that, like, <laughs> I just wanna say it correct, I don't wanna, like, disrespect J. Cole, like, that's my idol and shit. Mm. You talk real quick so I can fucking look this up. I think that money... Does not buy happiness. I think money makes life easier. Where do I think happiness comes from? I think happiness comes from valuing where you are in present time. And I had a journal entry. I'm I'm gonna read that too. This ties into what we're talking mm-hmm. about. But like happiness only comes from within inside yourself, number one. Number two, if you think that money is gonna solve your problems or you think that money is going to bring you this or that, it doesn't. Oh, it yeah, makes money sure- definitely does not buy, like, will fix, like, you know, like, closure or whatever, you know, shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, what, you're, what you just said, yeah, I'm disagreeing with you. Go ahead and say the quote. Yeah, I was say, but just to, like, you know, say it's for, it's, I had it right, you know, I just, it says, money can't buy you happiness, you know, that's true as hell. I love you, uh, but happiness can't buy you as this new SL. Like, that's facts, you know, like, I don't even know what SL is. <laughs> Saint Laurent. <laughs> okay, so like Eve Saint Laurent. Oh yeah, that's Sparks. Uh, Sparks Fly by J Cole. If you guys want to check him out, that's off Born Center. Um. Yeah, but let me let me say this too, like, and I'm gonna circle back. But he 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 made that in 2013 or 2012. That album came out then. That was before Forest Hills. Yeah. And he talks about after he put out Forest Hills, he was like, yeah, I got the jewelry. I got the chains, but I got it for the wrong reasons. I got the clothes, but I got it for the wrong reasons. A lot of people do. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. And you, and you do. You'll realize that eventually. Yeah. Hopefully. I realized it when I was like 19 or 20. I was like, man, what the fuck am I buying all this shit for? Yeah. It ain't doing nothing for me. It's making my bank account run dry. And I got a bunch of shit sitting around. Like, that's cool. But I don't think money buys happiness. I think money makes your life easier. And I think that if you place value on things, your money's just going to fly. Like, you're not going to have any. I I think it's one thing to value money. Mm. Like, I value money. That's why I'm able to preserve it and make it grow. But I'll tell you what I value even more than money. Like I've said this before time and time again, I value time and memories and people and relationships way more than any of that shit. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because, yeah, the money's cool. Mm. But you're going to spend your whole life chasing that? You're going to live an empty life. Like It's going to be empty, period. Yeah. And... Like a lot of people, like I'll see shit like people put money first. Like, bro, that's the last thing you should have first. 
like, don't get me wrong, grind, you know, get your bread. But, like, if you're putting that above, you know, your relationships and everything, like, that's just going to make shit, shit rough. There, there's a quote. Yeah, I know. It's in, it's in a J. Cole song, too, but I just can't remember. No, I'm not, like, I'm not saying a J. Cole. Something like that. No, I'm not saying a J. Cole quote. I'm saying. I know. I'm just, like, saying there's one, like, about that as well. I'm saying that there is a quote, <laughs> and it says, life goes by fast. So if you don't stop for a minute and look around, you just might miss it. And you for real might fucking miss it. And it's not a joke. Like, shit, man, I'm in my third year of college. I'm about to finish up my bachelor's degree in a year. You know how fucking fast a year flies? We're fucking 21 already, bro. Like, we're- I'm heading for 22. A a fifth through our life, bro. Like, that may, you know, for just, like- I don't know, what's the average lifespan, like 80 years? 76 for men. <laughs> Yo, like, no cop, bro, for real? Yeah. My gosh, we're already a we're fourth, a fourth of the way. We were a fourth of the way at 19. Dude, that shit's fucking sad, bro. I think, because 19 times 4 is 76, right? <laughs> Let me see. Uh, It's... Yeah, 76. Yeah. Jesus. But... It's it's also like time being that most valuable thing, right? So like, what do you value most? How are you going to spend your time? Because the crazy thing is that we've talked about this before too. Spending your time doing shit you don't like, is it worth it? Yes or no? It's like, well, yeah, because I got to work this mm-hmm. job to pay these bills to do this, to do that. Yeah. I think the goal is to get to a point to where you're doing what you love all the time. Exactly. And the crazy thing is about that and about life is that you have to sacrifice something. Because if you don't, it's going to eat your ass alive one way or the other. What I mean by that is you can sacrifice your time and make something. Build a brand. You get a degree. You build a business. Right? Right? That takes a long time. It might be 10 or 15 years. Yeah. But if you sit around and do nothing for 10 or 15 years. That is just a wasteful. That's also a sacrifice. Exactly. Because all that time that you could have been doing something and you could have gotten somewhere, you're in the same spot. You're stagnant. You're running on the treadmill. But if you take the other step and sacrifice some time, put the fucking work in, put the hours in, and build something organically, you could be light years ahead of everybody. And you would never know if you chose the latter option, which is to do nothing. Oh, my gosh, dude. What ifs? You ever just think about all the what ifs? Oh, yeah. Life, bro? Like, that shit, like, that's that's a crazy, like, concept. Like, every decision you make, like, changes the future. Like, on some fucking crazy shit. Like, if I would have, like, how different life would be based on your decisions, you know? I... I live by mantra now. It's like, I I don't, I would rather have the oh well than the what if. So if anything comes my way, now I pull the trigger on it. I make myself pull the trigger on it. Because if I don't, I'm going to look back in some time and be like, I wish I would have tried this. Whether that's a relationship with a girl, whether that's putting out this song, whether it's doing a podcast, whether it's trying to sell this merchandise, whether it's taking this trip, whatever it is, I say yes and I go. I don't do that no shit anymore. <laughs> I fucking don't. I I'm I mean like shit that's like 50-50. Like where there's like a bunch of shit whether you say no or whether you say yes. Like what you're saying is kind of like one-sided. It's either you go or you don't go. I mean like shit where you know, I guess that is kind of the same thing, you know. Like going on a, like saying yes to go on a trip versus not saying yes to go on a trip. But for the most part, like I I don't have that what if shit about things like that. It's like going somewhere for a week, you know, and then I start thinking about oh well there goes six hundred dollars, so I don't really care about going. And for most of the time, I'm not really like a guy who likes to go on trips in the first place. I think traveling is important to to me. I think traveling is important because 
getting out there and getting to experience everything that the world has to offer is something that I'm readily about and something that I've always wanted to do and I try to continue to do. But I think that what you're saying, like, that's what you place your value on, like your value on. What is that? Is that the 600 bucks or is that like the conversations you won't forget when you're 50 with your best friends yeah. in Nashville or at the beach? <sighs> is that like, hey, for me, it might be I go to the bar on Broadway and I meet a chick and we fall in love. Or it's, <laughs> you know, like maybe yeah. I go down there and I make the song that changes my life. Mm. I see something. It sparks an idea. Like, to me, the possibilities are endless with those things. But what is it? Is it the 600 bucks or is it that? Is Like, what is it? I had to ask myself that question. To me, it's a no-brainer. It's like, yeah, I'll spend the dough because I can get it back. But... That also comes down to money. Holy shit. That kind of just changed my fucking, like, thought process on some things. It's like, you should definitely go more, you know, even if you are missing out on 600 bucks. But, like, usually after the fact, like, I feel like I wouldn't have gone. But I don't, then I would have felt like, fuck, maybe I should have gone. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking, my brain's colliding with itself right now. I'm fucking... I just had to quit robbing myself of experiences. Seriously. I I was robbing myself of shit for a long time. Mm. A long time. And I'm not just talking about traveling. I'm talking about other things too. Like, it's a double-sided coin. You know, like the, the one side is, is like... All coins are double-sided, but yeah. Yeah. I'm saying it's the other side. It, it, there, that's one side <laughs> of the yeah. story. That's That's it. The other side is up for debate. My point is, is that I would rather take the oh well than the what if. Because you could go and have a terrible time. What's the OL stand for? I told you about these fucking abbreviations. Dude, I'm saying like, what yeah, I, if I would have this? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but what does OL stand for? I just want no, to know. No, oh well. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I thought no. you were saying oh well. Like, no, no, fuck? no, you're good. Yeah, I would rather take that than than the what if because yeah you could go and have a fucking shit time and you could have wasted 600 bucks and you wish you would have stayed home but you would have never known if you didn't fucking yeah. go big facts it's like yeah anywhere you can't fish off a boat I'm not going though I love the boat I can't wait to go back out on the water <coughs> Sprite and Martell dropping what do you think of that song Guys, Give me listen. your honest opinion. Like, don't don't just blow it up for the podcast. I like, I do not blow Tristan's songs up. Like, I'll tell him if he has a trash song. Like, I've this told is him facts. before. Um, but Sprite and Martell, I've got to say, is if you've listened to, I'm gonna try to compare it to a banger. You got Cotton Candy Skies. Would you say that's a banger? Yeah, that was one of the most popular songs I've ever done, for sure. It's better than that, Tristan. Is you know constantly improving. You know, hopefully you guys are too. Whatever craft you're doing, but I gotta say, like, if you have not listened to a song yet, you know, by the time you listen to this, it's been out for a day. Do yourself the favor of taking that. How long is it? Three minutes. Yeah, under two, under three. Yeah, about three minutes. Take that two minutes and whatever odd seconds. Do yourself a favor. Give that song a listen. Um, Walden's in the song. Yeah. Yep, Wild and West is on the song. <clears throat> we made that song at like 2 or 3 in the morning. I can't remember the exact date. It was like, I think it was in September, August, somewhere around there. Been and been sitting on it for a while. Yeah, we've been sitting on it for a while. Everything that's coming out this year is stuff that I made in 2021. So... We made that song at two or three in the morning, like I said, back in August, September. And we had a couple of drinks and the drink was Martel, which is cognac. And Joey Mamarelli brought it over to Alex's, aka Walden, 
and we poured up and we sat and I just started singing the song. Like I just started singing the lyrics. Like I didn't write it down. It was a freestyle. That's the first bar of the song. And then it started with like the first three lines and then I hit the chorus. We recorded the chorus. I had a reference. I came home. I recorded the whole thing two weeks later and that was it. And it was done. It's a true story. It's just crazy. Just a banger. Yeah, it's it's look one of not the best even, records I've made. You know, trying to like be on some, you know, um, what's that shit called? Where it's like, you know, just only trying to like support fucking not trying yes, to kiss man. Tristan's ass or yes man, yeah. Like this song actually is a banger. And you know, um every song is like that has this level of fucking creativity that he's putting out is just constantly getting better than the other one. So if this is, you know, the cotton candy skies of when that was dropped, this is this is a lot better. So, you know, do yourself a favor, give it a listen. Yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to what this year has in store. Really looking forward to it. There was one other thing that I had written down here. Were you going to read your journal quote or what? Yeah. Yeah, I think that people will get some value out of this. So I wrote this yesterday and I feel like it's going to apply to a lot of what we have going on and hopefully to what you guys have going on. What I wrote was this. I will attain my own form of success. Striving for a taste for the past six years has only made me want more. I am aware of the importance of being present, how being alive is a gift, how time is the only form of currency that cannot be replaced. All at the same time, the clock keeps ticking. The sand on top of the hourglass is decaying and the sand on the bottom is rising. I solely exist in the middle. I catch myself slacking just as much as I catch myself overworking. Regardless, I'm resilient. I keep going. I will never quit. I was forged by adversity. I am wealthy. God has given me many gifts, but I am better than no man that I walk amongst. God is king. I am one of his foot soldiers. The only thing that I fear more than regret is his wrath. I will not quit. And I think that's important because a lot of people just throw in the towel after a year, two years, three years, four, five, six, seven, ten, whatever. You just fucking quit because you get tired. And that to me is a bitch move. Oh, definitely. If you're doing something you're passionate about and, you know, it's not paying off right away and you quit, bro, that's probably the worst thing you could do for yourself. Period. Period, poo. Period. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of that? What, your quote? Do yeah. you write that shit like completely off the dome or do you pull from other stuff? No, I write it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Period. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh man! So what are we at now? We're at fifty minutes. I think it's a. I think it's a good place to wrap up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Sprite and Martell out everywhere now. Go stream that shit. Uh, and new podcast next week. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, boys. You know, you guys have a have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for more content. And uh, wild out. Call. We're on your ass this year, bitch.